following is a presentation of HBO Sports. They are heirs to a tradition that has been around since the beginnings of civilization. Modern day warriors, for whom physical supremacy remains the ultimate judge. <laughs> Philosophers of a craft where nothing can replace the simple elements of faith, focus, and fortitude. <laughs> Training with an energy that is endless. Teaching from textbooks that are invisible. Fighting with the force of entire nations behind them. He is the best boxer in the world. An ambitious champion whose triumphs have come at a variety of weights and over legends of the ring. He is the doubter at hand. Fearless, relentless and eager for another opportunity. To prove he's more than just a charismatic challenger. In his pursuit, he's made a bold move. Hiring this man to train him. Loud, irrepressible, but undeniably wise to the peculiar discipline of boxing science. Their unlikely pairing will be countered by a permanent bond. Three hugs, let's go. A partnership with roots between the ropes, but a connection that thrives long after the sound of any bell. Two modern day warriors, who on opposite sides of the world have become embodiments the pride of two nations, two very different ring philosophers whose teachings are tested with each new trip to the spotlight. Four weeks, two camps, all access. From the Philippines to the United Kingdom to Hollywood to Las Vegas. This is Pacquiao Hatton 24-7. Every story has an origin. Manny Pacquiao's begins in a place it sometimes appears time forgot. General Santo City. On a muggy day in the Philippines' southernmost city, the best boxer in the world is on a basketball court, running on ground he paved, shooting on baskets he built, surrounded by the striking pairing of armed guards and locals from the neighborhood, a neighborhood Manny Pacquiao has no interest in leaving behind. My style and before and now is, is the same. I never changed in my life that even I, I have a money in fame, but I'm still the same. I don't want to change in my lifestyle. Pacquiao's compound is just a few miles from the slums where he grew up. Though the high walls and small army of bodyguards provide a buffer from one of the Philippines' poorest cities, it's impossible to visit the champion and not notice the neediness that fills the streets. I know the poverty that General Santos is a poor place. I mean, you know, if you don't have a job, if you don't have someone to take care of you, there's no welfare, there's no food stamps, there's, not, there's nothing like that. As a child, Pacquiao worked to help support his family by selling donuts on the street. Donuts he'd buy for five cents and sell for a dime. He turned to boxing at age 13. The money was a bit better. Where it ended up, unchanged 100 pesos uh, it's it's two dollars <laughs> I gave it to my mother to buy a rice 
His earnings eventually improved, and this December in his 53rd professional fight, Pacquiao had his biggest payday yet, taking on an icon of the sport, Oscar De La Hoya. It was the most anticipated bout of the year, and about most expected De La Hoya to win. But the Filipino and his confident trainer had other plans. I expected him to win the fight, and then when the weight issues came into play, where he weighed so light, and he killed himself in maintaining that weight. And then in the middle of the ring, I walk out there with Manny, and I see the IV marks in his arm, and I see the fresh blood, right? And I said to myself, they hydrated him after they've weighed him in the dressing room. I says, look, the wrong, wrong thing to do. It's way, way too late. I, I told Manny, right then, I'm walking back to the corner. I said, jump on him right away, Manny. Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut. Straight left hand right up the pipe for Pacquiao. Yeah, Oscar has no defense at all. He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. He is gradually reconfiguring De La Hoya's beautiful face. He can't handle your speed, son. Pacquiao's speed is a riddle he has not been able to solve. This is getting embarrassing. Death by a thousand left hands. Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar's left eye is almost closed. This could be the end of the fight here. Manny Pacquiao has beaten Oscar De La Hoya. I told him that, you know, I'm sorry, it's, a, it's part of the, of the game and you're still my idol. I was a little compassionate I felt a little bad for Oscar a little bit because he got beat up. Yeah, I'm good. Good fighter. So I just don't have it no more. Some people will say Oscar had a bad night. I like to look at it as man, he had a great night. In Manchester, England, football may be king. But no bigger star has ever emerged from these streets than Ricky Hatton. Now 30 years old and an impressive 45 and 1 in the boxing ring. Born and raised here, fame and fortune have never kept the fighter far from home. And with a fiance, an eight year old son, and his entire family all within a half mile, he says this is the place he always wants to be. Hatton has been training in Manchester since February under the guidance of Floyd Mayweather Sr. His eyes fixed firmly on his May 2nd date with Manny Pacquiao. I'm coming over here. It means everything to me. I don't think a boxer can't go any higher than being the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter of all the champions in all the weight divisions. You can't get any better than that, and uh, nobody's going to stop me from doing it, including Manny. But 16 months ago, Hatton had a chance at another pound-for-pound -pound king, a chance that seems like a boxing lifetime ago. It was December 2007. Hatton was undefeated, and stepping into the ring to challenge the sport's best fighter, Floyd Mayweather Jr., with longtime trainer Billy Graham at his side. I just want you to answer me two questions. Who have you come to see? Floyd? No. Me? Yeah. Who's taking the belts? Yeah. Let's fucking have it. Yeah. It was one of the biggest fights of 2007, with thousands of British fans and celebrities from the world over making the trip to Las Vegas. Hatton was no doubt popular before the bout. Challenging Mayweather, though, put fans around the globe in his corner. But the fighter's perfect record and hopes of an exultant ending all came to a brutal screeching halt that December night. This fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has a knockout victory over Ricky Hatton. I don't think it was humbling because I mean I'm a I'm a humble type of guy anyway. It was I think devastated is the is the word because the fight I, I barely did believe we're going to win. It was a defeat felt by Hatton's entire close knit family. It was a difficult fight for us to watch because nobody wants to see the. Sun.